Morning guys, this is Davida here. So excited to talk to you this morning. So I want to share with you how to work with every situation, whether you're dating, whether you want a relationship, whether you're married, how to manifest the love you want in your life. I'm going to provide you with everything I know, everything I've used in my own life to transform myself, everything I learn to teach you how to become a master manifester with love. Let's start today with this book I'm reading this morning and of course it's one of my favorite poets, Rumi, and it's called The Little Book of Love. And I think Rumi just really connected with the depths of the kind of love that we each really want in our soul. So I'm gonna read you guys a poem and then we'll start talking about how to get started with creating something like this. At our essence, at the core of who we are, we are all seeking to love and be loved in return. And the thing that keeps us from this is our own ignorance, our own confusion, the things we have unconsciously taken into our minds that have blocked our heart from its power, from its receptivity, from its vulnerability, and its manifested things that have come into our life to actually teach us how to do this. So even if you find yourself single and unhappy or in a marriage and unhappy or in a relationship and unhappy, do know that that is still love knocking on your door. That is still love calling upon you to remember who you are, to remember what you are made of, to remember that you are powerful. And sometimes when we keep missing the messages about who we are, then pain comes in. Pain comes in as a form of compassion to wake us up, to shake us out of this confusion and this dullness and say, why do you think you're going through this pain? Why are you having this experience? What story have you told yourself to experience this? So we each have to ask ourselves that in the very beginning. What story am I holding on to that I've learned, that perhaps I've seen in my family play out that really hurt me. And now, as much as I wanted to get away from it, ironically, here I go, pursuing that story in a weird way, fulfilling its expectations. So if my story, for instance, is that relationships are difficult and they don't work out, then that story is going to find ways to infiltrate every single relationship I have. And it's going to make me look at the relationship in very negative, pessimistic ways. It's going to make me see my lover as my enemy or my lover as a person that's going to betray me. Not so much because of them, but because my story is the lens through which I see the world. So story is going to be a very important um, thing for us to work with, guys. It's, it's where we begin. It's where we begin to uncover the tale we've told ourselves in life. And often this can seem like, what do you mean, Davida? We are experiencing the painful results of being in a destructive relationship. And I am by no means condoning or saying stay in that or that's good or someone treating you poorly is okay. I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying there is a storyline that's running at the level below your conscious mind. The mind that says, I don't want this. But there's another part of you that says this is how it is. This is the story of life. And no matter how much you strive consciously to create something else, your story will keep coming back to you over and over again to wake you up. To say, hey, do you know that this is you? Do you know this is you all day? This is you cultivating this unknowingly? And this can feel painful. Often we, we don't want to be to blame for this. And it's not blame. It's actually empowerment. Let's wake up. Let's find the story we've told ourselves. Let's uncover it and let's begin to change it. For this video and this activity, I encourage you to do what is called a relationship inventory. That's where we always start our process. So this means start with your most significant relationship. That means the one you were in high school or maybe a little later and you absolutely fell in love with that guy. And and it was just the thing that swept your heart away. It was the first time you felt something. It was really disorientating. And think about that love and think about what attracted to you and what pulled you in. And, and think about the state you were in. And that's the beginning of your love story. 
And that's how it began to play out. And, and then think about what was the relationship like? What was he like? What were you like? What were your roles? What was the pattern? What were the gifts, the joys of the relationships? What were the issues and the difficulties? What were your fears? How did you respond to your fears? Were you afraid of being abandoned? Or were you the one who would walk away with ease? Were you the one who felt overwhelmed and commitment phobic? Or did you feel like your partner was emotionally unavailable to you? There's lots of different scenarios. So look at how that played out and then do that for every significant relationship in your life. And every time we do this, even though it seems like, what's the point? I know my history. It begins to reveal a deeper pattern that we've been playing out unknowingly. And that pattern is our story. It's our narrative of our lives. And that's what your subconscious mind keeps putting out to you because what your subconscious mind learns and knows becomes its map for reality. So let's always remember subconscious mind is powerful. It is basically the projector of our lives. It's through which the movie of our life that we experience comes through. And it might feel like the movie is coming at us but the movie is coming from us. And we, and we can go to the first step, which is find the story we're playing, find the story we unconsciously directed, in a sense, and then let's work on it. Let's work on why we believe this. Let's work on maybe changing it a little bit every time. So next time, guys, once you guys have your relationship inventory, that means discovering each major relationship you went through, the major roles in that relationship, the major fears, the characteristics of your partner, the characteristics of you, the major challenges you had in that relationship, and the patterns of the relationship, and how you responded to the difficulties you experienced. And then finally, why did that relationship end if it did? So do that for each major relationship. Don't forget to put in how long each one lasted. and. Don't forget to say how each one began. So if you want a detailed a formula of how to do this, I'm happy to send you a worksheet and just drop me a message here on YouTube or feel free to email me and I'll send that over to you. And then next week I'll show you guys how to use this relationship inventory to identify your story and then we'll begin to work with changing it. So that's the first step guys in the manifest the love you want. Okay, series and this is going to be a beautiful series and I promise each of you if you work with me every week and you go in with me and you put in all your love and all your energy then we can do this and the added bonus is I'm going to be putting up some hypnosis on my channel and I'm actually going to be giving you guys the full hypnosis which will just be something you can listen to I won't be on it it will just be an audio and that's going to reinforce the work we're doing every week so if you do the hypnosis, which is basically working with the parts of the unconscious mind that you can't really get to even though you're aware of them, but they just feel so stubborn and stuck, the hypnosis is going to go in there and guide those parts of you to awaken to your new path. So do the hypnosis, you do these videos, you do the exercises every week, and I'm going to show you how powerful you are. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to see you guys again next week at the same time. So until then, lovers, wishing you love, wishing you happiness, and thank you for your courage on this journey.